Hello and welcome to the complete course of Azure Machine Learning. Till now you have learned how to create a workspace, under the workspace, how to create an experiment, how to create a clusters and how to create an environment. So once you have created an environment and on that particular environment you have executed your experiments, right? And then you have evaluated your model as well. Right, so you have seen the accuracy of two three models and you have compared. So now it's a time to finalize the model. You, are, you have already uh, done the training of the multiple models and now you are in the position to register your model. So here what we need to do is we need to register our model. So to register a model from Python, what we need to do is we need to import a library. So let's start with so from Azure ML dot code import model and here now we need to register it model dot register here the first thing we need to give where are you registering it we are registering under the workspace which we are using it right so you can give the workspace instance name and now here you need to give the model path right where, what is a model path? The model path is where your job lift file is stored. So here what we need to give is a, our job lift file name. We'll see here in the folder our job lift file name is diabetic model dot pickle, right? So I'll just cancel, sorry. I'll just say copy it and dot pkl correct once this is done you need to give your model name so that by using this model name you can identify which model you have saved or registered it into that particular workspace so here since we are using this diabetic model so i can give the name as a diabetic mod model right so i can give diabetic model or because the diabetic model dot pickle and his name is in so i wanted to give something different so diabetic model demo since we are using a demo right and just execute this so it will take a few seconds to execute this model into that particular workspace right so now here previously you have seen over here in a model it there was nothing now when you have registered your model inside this workspace you can see here the diabetic model demo the version one has been created so here you can create a multiple version as well uh, inside it when you see you can also see what is the version number what is an id of this and who is created right so this has been created your model is now registered in our subsequent lecture we will see how do we register or the registered model how do we deploy it in a real time okay so let's wait for these sessions and quickly we will see how do we deploy it in real time thank you